With dry January upon us and so many taking a break from alcohol, some Americans are finding their GLP-1 meds aren't just helping them lose weight, but the so-called skinny shots are helping them not drink. We go inside one rehab facility that says weight loss meds are helping their patients with severe addictions, and they have the success stories, they say, to back it up. Here's ABC's Victor Akindo. Without this treatment, where do you think you'd be right now? Either dead or in a trap house, without a question. Sit. 41-year-old Susan Aiken has been gripped by drug addiction for roughly half her life. What was your drug or drugs of choice? Meth, cocaine, alcohol. If I could go to a bar, I'd find a bartender that could get me cocaine. Just over a year ago, she says she hit rock bottom after crashing her car while in a drug-induced psychosis. I was in complete hallucination mode. I did not know what was going on. Here. But now Susan is drug-free and feels Karma. better than ever. Her life has done a total 180 thanks to a groundbreaking program at a Florida rehab that prescribes GLP-1s off-label to treat addiction. Can you believe that it was this treatment program, GLP-1s, that helped you get to where you are today? I really can't. Something so simple has given me life. Ozempic, Wigovi, and Manjaro are drugs experiencing a big surge in use for weight loss. These wonder drugs called GLP-1s join the more than 7 million adults have been at the center of a revolution in medicine, from treating diabetes to becoming the game changer for weight loss. I got on the scale after the first week and I had lost five pounds and it was like, Oh my gosh. Celebrities like Amy Schumer, Kathy Bates, and Real Housewife Dolores Catania have been public about their transformations with the help of GLP-1s. I just felt amazing. I had lost like, I wanna say 10 pounds right away. And now, preliminary studies showing that GLP-1s may be able to quell cravings far beyond food have the addiction community paying attention. Patients reporting and studies showing reduction in alcohol use, reduction in cigarette smoking, reduction in opioid use, and also anecdotal reports of reduction in gambling and reduction in compulsive shopping. Just last week, Oprah opening up to People magazine about quitting alcohol, which she says is a result of using GLP-1s for weight loss, revealing, I was a big fan of tequila. I literally had 17 shots one night. I haven't had a drink in years. The fact that I no longer even have a desire for it is pretty amazing. UK TV personality Shane Harding can relate. I used to be what I call like a borderline alcoholic. I Alcohol was my crutch since I was very young. It was like I, I would always find an excuse to have a drink. Shane was prescribed Manjaro for weight loss in 2024. So welcome to day one of trying to lose weight with Manjaro. After her weight ballooned during her time on the show, 90 Day Fiance UK. <laughs> baby, you my chunky baby. I like your chunky. I can't believe you just said all that. <laughs> Shane says she regularly drank two to three bottles of wine in a night, but lost her taste for alcohol the day after taking her first dose. The Manjaro did not want me to drink alcohol. Like my craving for alcohol, my tolerance to alcohol, my body was like rejecting it. I feel like I had my life back for the first time in I don't even know how long. Welcome back to a new Manjaro Maintenance Monday. And once I got to my goal weight, I dropped down to the 12.5 milligrams. And my intention for maintenance was to work my way down the doses. Shane does still occasionally drink, but says alcohol does not have the same hold on her. The alcohol noise doesn't really come back. I feel like I've severed those ties with alcohol. I have patients who would drink every night when they come home for dinner, and then now maybe they'll pour themselves a glass, but they certainly don't finish it. Dr. Barry Weinstein is a New York endocrinologist who has prescribed GLP-1s to hundreds of her patients. We do know that there are receptors in the brain, in the reward centers that are leading to reduction in cravings. And so we saw that in preclinical studies, patients craving less. Key drug manufacturers Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk have both announced plans to study the role GLP-1s could play in addiction treatment. We definitely need larger studies, more randomized controlled studies to look at what dose should we be giving these patients? You know, what are the safety concerns? Will this last? This could change addiction in a way that we don't even realize possible, truly.
Susan's addiction began in college in her early 20s, abusing cocaine and alcohol. As a child, I guess I wouldn't have like thought I'd be here. I wouldn't have thought I'd be a drug addict. Susan says she went to rehab in 2007 and was sober for several years until she found herself in a controlling and mentally abusive relationship. So I left my town, my family, we moved to Florida. And that was probably the worst decision I had ever made. What changes did you start to see happen? Complete isolation. Taking me away from my therapy, my sober supports, my connection to the world, and it, then it was just me and him. I was miserable. I was very upset. I was losing myself. Susan says she relapsed with alcohol, then spiraled into meth and cocaine use until that pivotal day in 2024 when she drove her car into a tree. I truly believed that Santa Claus was coming to get me. The voices in my head would not stop. I just decided, you know what, forget it. I just want this to stop. Days later, Susan entered treatment here at Karen Treatment Centers in Delray Beach, Florida. We've taken uh, a body of evidence that came about through both preclinical studies and clinical studies, one of which we were actually a part of with Penn State, first of its kind, to explore the use of GLP-1 receptor agonists in residential substance use treatment settings for opioid use disorder. At the end of that study, when we saw a 40% reduction in cravings, it was pretty compelling. Karen is now one of the first in the country to prescribe GLP-1s as part of a comprehensive plan to treat addiction in qualifying patients like Susan. Susan takes her GLP-1 shot, in her case, ZepBound, once a week. The drug cravings that creep back in with each passing day kept at bay. That noise in your head, right? Those cravings. How does the GLP-1 quiet that noise in your head? Imagine you're in a NASCAR race and the cars just keep going and going and going. The GLPs slow the cars down. I can actually stop for a pit stop. You know, I can take a shower. I can go to a doctor's appointment. We see the alleviation in those regions of the brain, i.e. the blue coloration is now uh, disappeared. Using experimental imaging, this was Susan's brain before. The drug cravings she struggled with, illustrated in blue on the left, and her brain today, clear, seen in the scan on the right. The realization that I've done the work to change that, to then see my brain without the blue, it's really quite impactful. How many people have gone through the clinical initiative at Karen? We're hovering just north of 300 patients. 300 patients successful? I would say successful. I would not want to leave people with the impression that the GLP-1 receptor agonist is the magic bullet. It's part of a multidisciplinary, integrated approach to uh, a, a very complex condition that requires a long-term, frankly, lifetime maintenance. With research still far from being conclusive, the FDA has not yet approved GLP-1 medications for drug treatment. Patients like Susan must pay for it themselves. How much does this cost you? <laughs> it's not cheap at all. Um, it could be up to almost $1,000 a month. If the FDA comes out, if enough studies show that this really should be a treatment, I think it would affect millions of patients and hopefully prices would drop further to make it more accessible. There'd be people that would be able to have a future away from addiction, away from a life that they thought they could never get away from. I feel phenomenal. I feel alive and I, I thank God every day.